So actually, if you want to come stand right here, you're welcome to do that. I first met Mishka in 2015 when Julie Carpenter and aquarium staff taught her to do something incredible. Target. Good. Maybe step back just a little bit. There you go. Mishka. And then I'm going to ask her to do the inhaler. Developed asthma during wildfire season. Mishka. Inhaler. Breathe. Try to watch this. Breathe. Without smiling. Breathe. I dare you. Breathe. The cute factor. Breathe. Is unmatched. Breathe. Good girl. But sea otters are generally one of the cutest to watch. Turns out they're also really smart. She was a superstar. She's very patient. And we have some really creative staff that, that made that work. Anything in their exhibit is, they're very curious. They're going to they're gonna take it and play with it. So we had to really teach her that this isn't a toy. This is... This is training time. It's school time now. Here's Mishka back in 2015. Staff first taught her to touch the inhaler and then to breathe into it. Good. Three years later, Mishka's an inhaler master. And good thing, too, as thick wildfire smoke is back, threatening her health again. She's her normal feisty self. Dr. Caitlin Hadfield says they're monitoring Mishka along with the other animals at the aquarium. And it turns out Mishka can now do a lot more than just use an inhaler. They've also been able to train her to come up onto an x-ray plate. And so that gives us the chance to take x-rays of her chest while she just sits there, which is a wonderful way to monitor it. And they're also training her so that we can listen to her lungs at all times. Mishka is famous for her inhaler trick, but she doesn't know that. And neither do her buddies, none of whom have asthma like she does. But it appears Mishka doesn't mind being special. After all, the inhaler just means extra clams. In Seattle, I'm Allison Morrow, King 5 News. So the aquarium says its fish are the ones who come in contact most with changes in air quality since outside air is blown into their tanks. But so far they haven't noticed any behavioral effects among the fish from all of that wildfire smoke.